All righty, everybody. Oh, happy day. I hope you're doing insanely well. Are you experiencing an insanely successful 2022? If not, this video is for you. I'm going to help you increase your productivity and help you transition yourself from being in a place where you're scared of what's taking place and transition yourself into a place of increased profitability and higher levels of production. This industry is not scary, but it can seem scary if you don't understand these tips that I'm going to help you so that you can translate the business into higher levels of productivity. So grab your pen and paper. Don't be scared. Be prepared for increased levels of success. I'm going to drop some tips to you. Are you ready? I know that you are. All right, breaking news. Let's get after it. We're going to start talking about what it takes to increase your productivity. All right, so point number one, you've got to dominate time. You've got to be deliberate in everything that you do and in everything that you say. Time is your most precious resource. Are you ready to take it to the next level? I know you are. That's why you're watching this video. So first off, time, you've got to understand, is all about you taking control of it, not letting time get away from you, okay, like some really excited puppy off leash, okay? You've got to take an account of the most important resource that you possess. It's not what you know, but it's what you do with what you know. Your time, you've got to transact and you've got to act like you want success. If you want the wealth, be prepared to work for it. And yes, I said the W word, work for it. So many insurance agents get shined on thinking that this industry is all about putting your feet up on the desk, letting everything just automatically take control. And you can just auto text, auto populate everything and you're going to get wealth. That's not the way the industry truthfully works. I'm not going to say that's not a good thing for you to utilize technology because that will help you translate okay, into increased maybe production. It's a possibility, but more importantly, it's just a tool in the shed. You got to be using that tool properly. And the greatest tool that you have in your shed is time. You've got to use your time wisely. I want you to consider this. If you as a life insurance agent, if you as a telesales agent, you've got this huge timetable of I'm going to work all year. That's too big. OK, I want you to look yourself in the mirror and go, you know what? How would I work if I lost my voice tomorrow? Well, I'm guessing you'd probably do a little bit more work today. Am I right? If you're a face to face insurance agent and you're like, you know what? If next week I got whooped and got sick or got in a car wreck and couldn't get out and about as a face to face life insurance, Medicare insurance or annuity agent, how would you work today? Tomorrow will take your opportunity from you. OK, like some bully at the school taking your lunch money. That's what tomorrow will do. You want to take control of your most precious resource. That is your time. Take your time back. Take control back. Telesales is about control. It just is. It's how you control the call. It's how you control what you do. Why do you do certain things? Well, you want the wealth. You've got to take control of your time. Take this into an account. Think from a standpoint, not OK, like where it puts you into a panic or where it puts you into a place where you're like, oh, I want to go cry. But I want you to be in a place where you can capitalize more. Put yourself into a place mentally where you're like, you know what? I'm not going to take a half day today because I may not be able to work tomorrow. So I'm going to take back my control of my business and control what I can control. And that's how I utilize my time. Decrease. You must decrease certain things if you want to experience an increase in your life in other areas. So if you're an agent that spends maybe a little too much time at the water cooler, then maybe you should reprogram how you use that time. I'm not saying not to have fun at the water cooler. I'm a big proponent of hanging out and experiencing great relationships. But when you're working, you need to be all about that, all about that, all about that. If you were going to lose your job tomorrow, how would you work today? Today will make you more wealthy if you would just take this into an account. So pretend like you're going to lose your job tomorrow. Would you have done what you've done today? Were you deliberate in how you utilized every minute on your clock? Did you block off periods of time to work? Did you say, you know what? 
I'm going to get up and I'm going to have breakfast. And then I'm going to get on the phones from this time to this time and nothing is going to get in my way. You've got to remove some things if you want to increase other things that are going to help you be more profitable. You can actually accomplish more in less time if you would use those precious minutes appropriately. The ones that are amazingly powerful in this industry use every little minute that was placed in their hands and they take into an account of what is the most important use of my time. Is this use of my time an income producing activity or will this use of my time put me into an environment where I am now in, into a decreased level of profitability because it is an income reducing event such as too long at the water cooler, such as hanging out at lunch, such as, you know what, I'm just going to sit and listen to music for a little bit. I'm going to go for a walk with my dog. I'm going to go uh, take a little nap, whatever it is that is sucking your time. Maybe you're watching YouTube content when you should be getting after the phones. That can happen too. It's easy. Okay, it's easy to do the soft things, but the successful will not let that happen. They will not lick that little lollipop of mediocrity. They will never put that thing in their mouth because they're going to be profitable. This is all about increased levels of profitability, but think about it from a standpoint of if I lost my job tomorrow, how would I use my time? How would I leverage every moment that you get to work today. If you place yourself in that mindset, you're going to door knock a little different. You're going to hit that phone a little different. You're going to be more powerful as you speak because you're going to work from a place of, oh man, I've only got so many more hours on my clock today. I'm going to make those pennies sing. If I've got a lead, a lead is just an opportunity to have a conversation to bring value and help and hope to our consumers. Leads are leverage. Work on those leads like you were not going to be able to work those leads tomorrow. It'll help take you to the next level. It'll help you get your priorities in order. Get your priorities in order. When you approach your day, what's the most important thing? Make a list, okay, of what the most important thing is for you to do today, not thinking about doing, but what's the most important thing for you to do today? If you're an insurance agent, it's prospecting. It's seeing the people, seeing the people, seeing the people. It's not organizing your leads. That's something that's going to take away from your increased levels of profitability. If you would just knuckle down, okay, you got to get after it and it's not always going to be fun if you want to find yourself wealthy you want to find yourself with higher levels of success be prepared to do things that aren't always fun but it's the most rewarding when you get your wins and when you get your wins when you get your wealth let me share with you ladies and gentlemen it's worth it but if you want to get lucky let me tell you Okay, the harder you work, the luckier you will get. It's all about grinding, but you've got to change your mind. You've got to change your mind from a place of, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Doing it tomorrow will take success from you today. Get tomorrow out of your mouth. Never let it touch your lips. From this point forward, it's today, today, today. You look yourself in the mirror and go, today I'm going to accomplish this. You write down your hours if you're one that maybe procrastinates and you put that, okay, ink on paper and you stare at it in the face and let that ink stare you in the face. You've got to embrace things that will help you take it to the next level. If you need somebody to help keep you accountable, guess what? Get somebody quickly. Find a good mentor, somebody that's a good, okay, manager, a good upline. Maybe it's a good buddy in the industry that can help sometimes okay give you what you need and sometimes that's a boot okay up the britches to let you know get your priorities in order man you say you want to be wealthy why in the world are you over there doing that get away from the water cooler get back in the cubicle let's get our appointments so that we can get out into okay those homes to help these people help these people and understand that what you do matters if you would transition your mind to understand if you're a life insurance agent, you know what? What you do absolutely matters. These sweet people need you. And if you don't do a good job on that phone call, 
the legacies that they leave behind may be forever changed because you didn't do your job to the best of your ability. If you don't do your job to the best of your ability, somebody else's family could be forever changed negatively. They could be doing GoFundMes if you don't find, okay, time in your calendar to skill up, hone up, and sharpen up so that you can help these great people to higher levels. You've got to train more than you play. You've got to help these great people because their very lives, yes, lives are in the balance. And if they die without insurance, guess what? It's not good. Okay. It is so important that you understand that what you do truly matters. They need you. They want you to help them, but you've got to listen through the noise. Okay. You've got to be more diligent about how you use your time. This is not just having time for no reason. Okay. Oh, I've got all the time in the world. I'll do this tomorrow. Tomorrow will make you broke. You want to be a beast in the industry? Let's go. Saddle up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, every day, let's be deliberate, deliberate, deliberate in everything we do and in everything that we say. We've got to use this gift of time so that we can act, okay, act and act. You can do more in your eight hours than you ever thought possible if you worked like you were going to lose your job tomorrow, if you worked like you may not have the ability to go work tomorrow, if you got in a car wreck, if you got sick, if you lost your voice, how would you work today? Would you use maybe one more rebuttal, one more ask, one more close, okay, one more opportunity to bring value to them? I bet you would. So I hope this video helps you stay on course. You can have the most powerful 2022 than you ever, okay, thought was attainable because you're going to take actionable steps with how you use your time and you're going to remove things from your life. Maybe it's your Netflix. Maybe it's you're drinking too much. Maybe it's who knows what. I'm not here to kick your vices, but I'm telling you, if you want to step to the next level, you've got to do things you've never done, all right? So I hope this helps you. If you need anything at all, reach out jasonfinalexpense.com. I appreciate you watching and have an amazing day.